Hi everyone and welcome to today's morning report with me Richard Perry, Market Analyst at Antec Markets for Tuesday the 18th of March. We're going to look at Euro dollar now and um, the actual risk appetite element of Euro dollar suggests that the um, outlook remains fairly strong. This is the daily chart that um, remains in, uh, all the uh, indicators remain in bullish configuration. Um, and uh, it just seems to be looking uh, as though it's forming uh, a new basis of support with following on from this breakout above 138.92 um, and uh, you've got this, these nice lows in place at $1.3832 so um, it pushed higher yesterday so the, that sort of now reduces the um, potential for a, a top pattern in place um, and uh, these momentum indicators as I said are in bullish configuration. The RSI, well it slightly stretched although that has come back early in uh, European trading today um, and uh, the, uh, the MACD lines are fairly strong still. Uh, and the stochastics are also fairly strong. So you'd say that this is still uh, a chart with a bullish outlook. Um, moving intraday, uh, you'll still see that that is the potential for that top pattern in place there. But I've drawn in uh, here a, a nice uptrend that I think is uh, being used as the basis of support now. So uh, we've still got that in place despite this little um, slip in uh, the euro early in uh, European trading hours today. Um, the outlook, as I said, with um, all the moving averages, this is on the intraday hourly chart, the moving averages are all rising in bullish sequence. Um, and uh, the momentum indicators are fairly strong still. So you, what you'd now s certainly say is this key support, I think, is at 38.77 for this intraday chart. And now that um, any sort of breach above of that 38.77 would also take you below the 200 hour moving average, which you'd probably say is um, uh, would be a turn for the worse on this chart. And um, I'm I'm thinking that uh, this chart is now just back into this nice band of support uh, between $1.3917 and uh, $1.3890. So you've you've got that nice band of support. You've also got that uh, uptrend coming in currently around $1.3894.95 area. So I think um, this uh, at the moment the the, uh, the corrections are being bought into. That was uh, proven yesterday and also on. Uh, also on Friday, so if we can f if we can see a, a third day in a row where you get a nice um, a nice uh, higher low, where um, the the buyers uh, look to support this around about the low 139 um, zero, um, big figure level. I think that could be a nice buying opportunity um, and certainly if you get a, a, a positive signal around that sort of level that would be a decent entry point here today. Obviously the, the cat, um, caveat to that is um, uh, you've got um, several issues going on today. You've got the German ZEW at 10 o'clock, that could impact, but also you've got um, Vladimir Putin um, speaking at 11 now, as I said earlier, depending on how belligerent he is, um, that could have an impact on risk appetite uh, today, which would pull potentially pull euro dollar lower. And also this afternoon, you've got 12:30 uh, U.S. inflation, um, and if you if U.S. inflation comes in uh, strongly, then that would certainly help to push um, euro dollar lower today. Um, but uh, we wait and see for those figures. As I said, in front of all that data, I'd still suggest that this um, this chart should be finding support around about the $1.39 big figure level. So uh, it, any sort of dips could be used as a b opportunity to buy. Anyway, I wish you good luck in your trading today and I will speak to you later. Thank you.